I thought that if we changed your smile, it would empower you to such a point whew, that no one could tell your baby girl no. Like that's going away. Like you know you can take care of her. And today, I don't think anybody watching this video would have ever thought that that was you a week ago or a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Everything you're about to see happened within an hour today. This is me two hours ago. I live in Houston. My family's hours away. The dentist here in Houston are just so expensive. It's not an option for me. I had no choices. Now that I'm a brighter image lab client, Getting the smile, I feel like me, it makes me feel like myself again. After I received these veneers, seeing the quality, you know, the detailing, how amazing they were, I had to meet Bill. I just had to. Everything he's done, working with him, I had to meet him. started? I am. Then, I'm then you know what you're doing. Um, my, hi, my name's Kendall. I have a question to ask Mr. Bill Watson. I have been a subscriber for a couple of years now. Cool, thank you. The question I have for you is why did you choose me for the new life smile? Uh, your story was pretty tough. And I got the feeling that um, South Texas is a tough town for a little girl who can't smile. Uh, Hmm? Uh, it's very. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, How long did you go without your smile? Uh, it's been about three years. How many? Yeah, it's three years. I can't. I gotta take a break. <laughs> I guess I was thinking about. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I am. I don't even think about it. People are going to have a hard time believing this, but I have to ask you this. We never met each other before today. I know, at all. <laughs> They're going to ask you, did you know me before today? The only thing we did was text. And your story is pretty big. Yeah. And things were tough. Mm -hmm. And a little town, things were tough. And you said some of the things that made me feel like I needed not to ignore this. I don't have everything to do with it. Everybody that gets chosen. I got some help, but they brought it to me. Um, I felt like you, if you could get out of your troubles, you would separate yourself from the things that were bad in your life. Yeah. And I think you had the tools. I think you had the energy. I think you had the expression. I think you suffered maybe depression or something that was keeping you down. And when people take their choices away from them, they keep them down. It's like being in the water of an, an, an undercurrent. And I didn't think that I had it in me to tell, to, <laughs> to tell this person no. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, you said all the right things. I want to change my daughter's life. Mm -hmm. I, I want her to be proud of me. Yeah. And we have things that we have to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we got school meetings and functions that yeah. need to be fun. They need to be proud of me, and mm -hmm. and I got specific? I got from your communications that I'm a good person. I I'm truly want to be everything to my daughter. Yeah. Am I right? Oh yeah. When you said I can't get these jobs, I'm these second and third interviews, or oh. I'm getting I'm getting picked last, right. last, last. Yes. You're right. And today, I don't think anybody watching this video would have ever thought that that was you a week ago 
or a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Like, like um, one of the things that people don't know is that you're probably one of the first person I ever sent the veneers to. Like, I didn't ask you for anything. I just sent them to you. Yeah. And and if you didn't ever call me back, you'd be fine. You said, hey, I can be up there and I, was like, yeah. I want to interview you. Yeah. And so I thought that a conversation with you would help me know that this is going to go past you getting a new smile. Mm -hmm that the smile would be the least of what you actually got. Some people you help them and it's their biggest possession and that's why they pay for it. Okay. And other people, what you give them is the least. Like the, the smallest gift that you'll get from this is the smile. Mm -hmm. It's no longer rejection, it's nobody looking down on you, nobody mm -hmm. judging your family or your baby. Uh, and her name having a good name and, and play dates and all those things. And I've seen it happen because I just saw your energy. All your stuff said, there's energy here. We always look for who we can help, and we believe that light attracts light. And I think if you were getting, if you were given a pass, like if you just got out one day, you'd stay out. <laughs> and so, I didn't expect the results to be so good, yeah. but your results are amazing. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't know if I had a choice. Mm -hmm. I have a real problem with the people in Houston not having more access to dental. Yeah. I have a real problem with that. And it starts with who is it affecting the most. Most people don't ever take blame. Most people who are affected, I never hear them blame anybody. They always blame themselves. And it's part of what keeps them down. Where in reality, if your car was that hard to fix, nobody would have a car. If insurance was that hard to get, nobody would have it. If houses were that hard to finance, nobody would have a house. They created an environment in Houston, Texas that you can't pierce. They weren't giving you a chance to be, they weren't, be, they weren't being fair to you. There was no reason for you to have that much pain. And it was obvious that you were just saying, listen, I'm, 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 doing, I'm not asking, can you see me as somebody that's equal? And if you do, you'll see me as a person that's not gonna let you down. Like, I'm, I'm you have my full attention. I, these aren't gonna lay around for a month. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not gonna get to it casually next month. Yeah. And the results were so good. I love them. Um, I have to tell you my history and we'll wrap it up. Okay. I haven't ever met anybody with the kind of energy that you expressed that's the same person six months from now. Everything changes. They get thinner. They exercise. They know more people. Their circle's better. They're more thankful. They are involved in PTA. Their marriage gets better. All this energy, light attracts light. And I kind of wanted those for you. And I didn't think you were going to get it without me. The yeah. last thing I want to say is you took a lot of trust in picking me. You see what I'm saying? Like, you picked us, you trust us to trust you with that, and you gave us the benefit of the doubt, and then you gave us immediate feedback. And so we both picked each other, so it worked. And I hope that it's had an effect on you already. Yes. I've seen that people who don't smile much, their little kids don't smile much, they start smiling, they smile more. Uh, if they used to smoke, they quit smoking. If they, um, they just take on better habits because they know they can't go back. Yeah, then it becomes a tool. I'm hoping that everything in your life gets better. I want to say last thing, you coming here was brave. I hope it helped a lot of people. I know that somebody sitting somewhere that's having a problem that's similar, not a similar, more or less, and I hope that they say that I'm, that if she wasn't brave enough to help me know that these can make a difference. Definitely. And we're going to call it, I always do this. I pound it. Pound it. Yeah, I do that for my daughter. Do you? <laughs> yeah. She can do it on her own? <laughs> yes, she does. Um, then we'll wrap it up there, but I do want to say it's been a pleasure. Thank you more than you know. Thank you. Thank yeah. you also. Yeah, good. I want to thank Brighter Image Lab for letting me interview Bill. This has been truly life-changing for me.